What's going on everybody? My name is Timui and today I'm going to be reviewing Color and Light, the Artist Master Series by 3D Total Publishing. Now let's talk about who this book is for. Now, in my opinion, I think that this book is for intermediate artists, people who kind of already understand those foundational terms and those foundational... Now I think that this book is for intermediate artists. Uh, those people that who already understand fundamentals of design and fundamentals of color and understand those terms and all of that fun stuff. But of course, if you are a beginner or even a master, um, who's gonna stop you from buying this book? I mean, like, nobody is, who cares? This book is really beautifully designed. It's also a very heavy book too. So if you're carrying this to class or to Starbucks or wherever you like to draw, you're gonna have a uh, terrible pain in your back. Because this book is basically a whole year of color and light class stuffed into a book, the design has to be a great experience. The book is beautifully laid out. Each new topic and term is represented in its own area on the page. Nothing looks confusing or it's not hard to read. I think this book is also written very well too. There are some complex areas, but I think with enough time and understanding, uh, it'll help you out a lot. There are also these really helpful artist tips in these colored boxes throughout too. These artist tips expand upon the topic being talked about in the pages, some art tips, some advice, all of great stuff to help your experience be a lot better. Now for the physical features. Mine came in hardcover. I backed this as a Kickstarter when they first announced it, but on Amazon, there is a soft cover version there. I think the last time I checked it was soft cover, but you can purchase the hardcover version off of the 3D Total website. One thing that is very important to me about these instructional art books is if they lay flat while being open. The reason why I think this is important is because sometimes these books, when you open them, they like to automatically close because the spine is too tight. This book is easy to work alongside. You don't have to pin it down while drawing with the other hand. It's an easy draw on one side, look at the book on the other, and just practice. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside this book. This book is broken up into four sections. The main two sections are going to be about color and light and the last two sections are going to be tutorials and there's going to be a gallery of great artists. The main part of this book about color and light is going to be written by Charlie Picard and he's a great fine artist. He understands these complex topics. He applies it in his own work. He's not just some guy off the street or whatever that they found. He's actually somebody that understands this and uses this in his own work as well. The first section of the book is going to be about color. So at first there is a brief but in-depth overview of what color is. Then we get into value, the importance of value, learning the effectiveness of a simple value scale. You talk about value keying. You also talk about the difference between chroma and saturation. This is another big section as well. Tints, shades, and tones, color, temperature, and hues. And then you have a big overview of hue as well. The second section is going to be about light. Here's gonna be your most in-depth discussion because here you talk about your different materials and textures. You talk about matte textures, specular textures, transparent textures, and then the last section is gonna be about combining materials. So matte, of course, matte objects are going to be your standard object, kind of like a uh, maybe a dull plastic or something that's rubber. For specular, you're gonna be talking about more reflective or shiny surfaces. In the transparent section, you're going to be talking about opaque objects to translucent objects to full transparent objects and how the light passes through them it is so scientific in there I took one look and I closed the page I don't think I'm ready for that section just yet you talk about subsurface scattering and yeah that sounds like a very crazy term to understand but I think it's pretty necessary for everybody to at least have some idea or some understanding of it and of course I'm still learning about it too it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a complex topic to think about. The third section in this book is going to be tutorials. This section has three amazing artists in it. I'm sorry if I mispronounce their names really badly, but the three artists are going to be Jamila Kanoff, Guwise, and Nathan Faux. Each one focuses on their own particular ways of tackling color and light in their own work. And then the last section is going to be the gallery. This section is for other artists to display their work and show what a good understanding of color and light could do for your art. The artists represented here are, once again, Jamila Kanoff, Simone Grunwald, and Devin L. Kurtz. I recommend that you follow all these artists on Instagram. They're great. You're gonna be inspired and you're gonna learn a lot from them as well. Now, here are some things to note about this book if you're thinking about buying it. Remember that this book is basically a textbook. It's not just some nice thing that you're gonna put on your your desk 
it's meant to be studied. Expect a lot of words, expect a lot of paragraphs, and a lot of explanation. This is basically a college course. And because of that, it can be just a little bit overwhelming. So my advice to you is just to take things in sections. If you need to learn about a specific topic, just dive right into that section. You don't have to start from page one and then read it all the way through. At least that's what I do. Focus piece by piece on what you need to know at the moment. Now the price, of course, it's 3D Total Publishing. It's insane. I don't understand why their books are so expensive but it is $50 if you buy it from their main website. But if you buy it from Amazon, it can be a lot cheaper. Now down below, I do have an affiliate link. If you click on that and buy from that link, I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you. So this is the first book of the Artist Master Series. The next book is going to be about composition and narrative. So I'm very excited to learn about that. I love composition. If you learned something new, click that like button. If you wanna support me, go ahead and click that subscribe button to stay up to date on all future videos. That's basically what I have today. Goodbye, see you later. Keep making art, be proud of your art.